coming into what I like to call lizard splits or an ekapada kumeyasana. We're going to draw forward, reaching our left heel and our back foot into a low lunge. Feel the hips drawing away from each other, the spine lengthening, the shoulders relaxing. Feel that openness in our hips as we bring both palms on the inside of our foot. We'll lengthen our spine on the inhale, begin to lower down to our elbows as we exhale. From here, we're going to slide this left shoulder underneath the left knee, wearing it like a backpack so that the tricep can tuck underneath it. We're going to take this back elbow and tuck it in the inner spot between our rib cage and our hip. And as we're ready, we're going to lengthen out our legs and start to lift through our abdominals, reaching through the toes. And then we'll release down. We'll come back to the center and switch sides. So on our right foot forward, lengthening the hips away from each other, finding the openness through our chest. And then we'll begin to release our elbows down, finding a deeper release in our hips, sliding this right arm underneath the right knee, wearing it like a backpack. So when we get this tricep in, taking the left elbow underneath that rib cage, we'll walk our feet out, find the place where we can lift through the abdominals, draw through the toes, and then we can bend out of it, bending back through the child's pose, and lifting as we're ready. And that was what I like to call lizard splits or akapata kundinyasana. Namaste.